disagrees with animal testing. Nobody wants it to be happening. Everyone agrees that it's wrong, it's cruel, but accessibility for those kind of products is another thing. So we just thought if we make a company where we're promoting vegan and cruelty-free brands and we're making this available to people, um, that will kind of help tip the scale and hopefully encourage more companies to, to have ethical practices where animal welfare is concerned. The beautiful thing about having a brand that's led by its ethics is that we kind of attract that kind of customer and they've really taught us things and they're kind of forming the ethos of our company now. They're developing it into something bigger and better than it was before. I really think that the internet is the driving force behind veganism um, because I think it's about spreading knowledge. You know, when we talk about these things on the podcast or when I'm talking to someone who didn't know about veganism and you tell them what goes on on factory farms, um, they always say, oh my God, I didn't know, you know, I wasn't aware of this. And I think the internet has really like lifted the veil on that industry and shown here's what's happening, this is the truth, and then that compels people to do something. So yeah, without, without the internet, we wouldn't be able to spread that knowledge. We wouldn't be able to run a subscription box company, a podcast. I don't even know if I'd be vegan if we didn't have the internet. It's not saying that everyone has to become a vegan activist. It's just saying you have to care more and think more about your, your small everyday actions.